guys, so today I'm doing my April favorites, and it's going to sort of be like summer, spring-ish ones, but um, I don't have a lot of them. I only have one book favorite, stuff like that. So I think I put this in a previous favorites video, but I love it so much. This is the Bodycology Wild For You Moisturizing Body Cream, and I just use it on my hands because my hands get really dry throughout the day. And um, they usually have like a word that describes the scent, and this is called Dazzling. Dazzle your senses with sugared peach, white rose, and creamy amber. And this is what it looks like. It just comes out a white cream, like usual lotions, and it goes on really thick. So that's what I like, because usually I don't like, like, when when the lotion feels watery, because then it feels like my skin gets oily, something like that. But this stuff smells exactly like, or close to what, you know, the Sensational Amber stuff at um, Bath and Body Works. That's, that scent is my jam. The Sensational Amber stuff is my jam. And I don't know if they discontinued it. Or if it's just now a fall scent. But this smells so good, you guys. Like, no joke. It smells amazing. And if you like that scent, this is like a close copy of it. Because I always try to find copies of amber scents to see if they smell like the Sensation Amber stuff. Because that's like my favorite of all favorites. And I got this for Christmas. It was in like a stocking. And it came from Walmart. It was only a dollar. You could probably find, like, a bigger bottle of it at Walmart. This recently, like, earlier this week, I went outside and thinking, Oh, I'm not going to be out there that long, and I'm not going to get sunburned. Well, guess what? I did. I got it all over. I got it on my chest. I got it on my legs. I got it on my arms, shoulders, everything. And the one thing that helped was... This Cortisone 10 Intensive Healing Formula Cream. You can use it, um, it's like anti-itch sort of, but you can use it on, um, sunburn, um, you can use it on, um, bug bites, stuff like that. And this is what it looks like. I used it and usually, like, with me, it's either, like, my skin either peels or it gets really itchy and... The, ugh, it got really itchy this time, so that really helped, and it helped with the redness, because within, like, a day after I put it on, the redness, like, either completely went away, or it, um, like, got lighter. So, um, when I, if I go outside, I really don't like using, um suntan the lotion I mean a sunscreen lotion or whatever you want to call it because I don't know it's just like it makes my skin feel weird and it it's really oily to my skin so I try to use if I'm at the beach I'll use the lotion but if I'm at my house I usually use um, a spray and the spray I feel like is better because I just I use it and then I just put it on my um in my hand and then I rub it into my skin, like, wherever it is, and it does work, like, I was afraid that, like, using a spray wouldn't be just as effective as using the lotion, but this is, I got this at Five Below, and it costs five dollars, everything, if you have a store near you, that's called Five Below, it's where you can get stuff five dollars or below that, like, one to five dollars, usually, and this is, they had their summer stuff out, and I've used, um, I had a Walmart one, but I couldn't find it, so I had to get a new one because I'm like, if I'm going to go outside and I'm going to get that that um, tan or sunburn again, I need new stuff. So this is the Neutrogena Wet Skin Sunscreen, and it's SPF 50, and you have to reapply it every 80 minutes, and this is what it looks like. Um, this is like my food favorite, and this is, I did, I just did a video on these, but not this specific kind, I only did it on the regular peanut butter bites, but this is the Skippy's Peanut Butter Bites Pretzel, and I just, the funny thing is I filmed that video, 
and that same week I filmed that video, they came out with the pretzel ones. And I like the pretzel ones, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, I like them probably, like, three times better than the regular peanut butter bites. But it was really good. I liked it, because it's like, you know, like, I feel like if it was chocolate pretzel, though, it would be better than three times, better than the regular ones. This is my, um, this is those hand pocket bacteria things at Bath and Body Works. And this one, I have so many of these. It's like I have all winter ones and I have all fall ones. Cause that's the, that's the last time I went to the mall. And this is called Frost, no, it's called Pumpkin Frost. And this is what it looks like. And let me tell you guys, when I first put it on... It does not smell like pumpkin. It sort of smells like a cereal. Like, I said, it smells like a cereal. Because I was talking to my mom about it. And she was like, I said, it smells like a cereal. And then she was like, oh yeah, it does. And then I couldn't put my finger on it. And it smells like a cereal with cinnamon in it. So I thought, oh my god, it smells like Apple Jacks. You know, like the apple little, like, um, circle things or whatever. That's what it smells like, but it smells good, though, even though it's for fall. This is, I got this for Christmas. It was in my stocking, and this was only a dollar. And this is the Lotta Love um, Hershey Kisses um, lip balm. And this is what it looks like. And usually when you get these for, like, a dollar, they usually, like, make my lips, um... If they're only a dollar, like, if they're not, like, the chapstick brand, they usually, like, make my lips run really dry because I have to reapply it all the time. But this one is really good, and it smells like chocolate. Like, it smells exactly like chocolate. That's how good it is. It's, like, the best. But it works good. I mean, um, my mom, I think they were at, I think when I saw them, they were at Walmart, and I got a couple of them for Christmas. They're not the same one, like, different ones. These are my favorite sun... I have tons of sunglasses. Okay? Not tons, maybe like ten. But these are my favorite. And I don't remember where I got these from. I think I got these from Walmart. And they're yellow. They're like... Yellow is like one of my favorite colors. I don't know why. And these are what they look... This this look... I don't know what they look like. And I think they were only like five dollars. And let me tell you, they work really, really good. Like, usually when I get... um. Well, usually when I get sunglasses, it's either, like, it's too, when I read, like, at, I don't know, outside, and the sun's really, like, bright, it usually makes my glasses lighter, I mean, my sunglasses, um, lighter instead of really dark, or whatever, but these ones work really good, like, I used them all day, all yesterday, all whatever, this I got, um, they had a lot of, at Walmart, they had a lot, after Easter, they had lots of spring decor still out. And this bird, I think it was all, I don't know if it was 50% off. I think it was just the other stuff, but this bird was only $5. It was like four eighty eight, but I just round up to $5. And it's yellow, and it is the cutest thing either, ever, ever. It's supposed to be like a tabletop thing, but I use it for my um, bookcase in the other room. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it so cute? Like, this is what it looks like for $5. Like, usually when you get something for $5, it either breaks right away or whatever. But this didn't, and it's so cute, and I love it. Like, I wish they had, because when I went up there next week, um, the week after that, they didn't have any more. I was so max. Like, I wanted to get, like, at least two more, but I didn't. So maybe next year they'll have more. This is my only book favorite that I have, and it's not really, like, a novel. It's more of, like, a play. And this is called The Taming of the Shrew, and it's by William Shakespeare. And it is a really good play. Like, I have tons of these, and these are the ones I like. Like, I don't like the ones, like, where you get, like, you can go into the bookstore and get, like, five and one or something. I like these ones better because they're a little, they're really small and stuff like that. But this is what it looks like, and... I liked it. It was really good. Like, some of the plays I read by him that I, like, you don't read in school. Like, usually you read, like, Juliet or Shake or, um, I was gonna say Shakespeare. Like, Romeo and Juliet or 
Macbeth or something like that, but then, like, you never read anything that's not, like, a major play that everybody knows. But, um, this one was really good. I liked it. It was really good. There was only five acts, and I, I, I don't read it, like, read it like a book. I just read it on audio. So that was my favorites for the month of April. Comment below and tell me some of your favorites for the month of April. Please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.